Oh yeah, there is a Mordred thing somewhere, isn't there? Oh no, Mordhold. In that case, I still don't know what you're on about. Uh, trust your neighbour. Although citizens are encouraged to show trust and good faith in their exchanges, the reality is many uh, nations, that's a risk people cannot afford to take. But not in ours. And that is going to mean that we can earn a bit more money. And speaking of money, are there any other places that I need to fortify? I mean, actually, considering that, yes, this will be an inter interior road. Probably don't need to do this. That one's being fortified. The one that's actually leading to the outdoors is being fortified. That's all secure. That's secure. That's secure. Ah, there was a hold with just a level 2. You. Need to be upgraded to an 8. I want to make sure all of the holds have level 8s. Okay, that's those done. Let's start uh, grabbing those. Alright, where is their next big assault going to come in? I suspect probably up here. The blade marches of 63% participation in this war. We are fighting quite a few, like, smaller nations. Truce with Heraz Oldham has expired. Magical relic has been located. Send in the adventurers. Cost 20 grand. <sighs> Dead spiral. Oh yeah, and I was going to... Missionary something. Um, Long tunnel. Huzzah! We're getting closer to Hedavar, but we still don't quite have it yet. Alright, how's Hull Yorkad looking? They're in this for a while. Then the other one was Basan, but I don't think we can do anything to really... Oh. You might be wanting to peace out already. Not quite, but close. Okay, so that's going to be the end of Hull Yorkad. Then we probably want to siege down these guys. Rail Skulkers, we've actually been building a couple of really low level forts, so um, that, that's nice. Haraz Oldham has entered a coalition against us. Decrease of Goblin Tolerance, unsurprisingly. Demands of labour with the construction of our hold continuing one cannot help but think what could be this could be done at a faster pace. Oh yeah, I forgot I was actually building up of Dal Kanzad still. Construction is paramount no matter the cost. But we did get the 20 stack here, which we're gonna head over to this. And we'll just use that as our our base this time. <coughs> And of Duludum and Verkul Konazad. Konazad is this guy, right? Yeah. So we now have a second coalition forming against us. Okay, so these guys are starting to hit that flank really quite hard, which is fine. Because all of my standing armies are down here in the south. Alright, of Duludum. Jorkad, even. Uh, also, what's the war goal? Skomir. So we really need to start attacking into them. I can't get to that, because Ludum's not giving me access. Well, in that case, there's only really one thing I can do about that. I want Gorbarad. So who's actually in this second war? Yeah, it's only Ludum, Ordum, and Verkokonazad, because all of the others are already in the second war. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and attack you to take Connor's ad out. Now we have access! And you two go up there and deal with that. Please, and thank you. Quite happy letting you just suffer some attrition against that. That was quick. Um, right. Let's send you down to this. Now I feel like I'm going to probably need these two 40 stacks up here. So it's basically going to be... Oh, for Pete's sake. Another goblin ambush! I feel like we only just beat the last one. Fine! Go and fight it, and then return to your duty. Uh, Marco Gurenhauer, thank you very much for the follow. And Kubik, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Dex Gaming X wants me to drink some tea. <clears throat> when you said Dead Sparrow, my brain made it sound like Frodo in Hunchback of Notre Dame. Says Hellfire in that song of his. That's a mighty big war we've got going on there. Yes, yes it is. Do not make this your Napoleon moment. Why not? What, what's, what's wrong with taking on a combined coalition of basically all of the other great continental powers? It's fine. It's simply an opportunity to show our superiority. Why are you exiled? They cancel access. They must have. Interesting. Well, let's read that army up. For now. And I know that there is an army here as well. But they are taking their sweet, sweet time. Wait, am I fighting Achtjordan as well? I didn't think I was. Oh, I am. Interesting. Well, so it goes. It's my capital under siege. Yes, rebels. They just spawned. But my capital is incredibly well fortified, so it should be fine. Um, no, this is still too early. Stay where you are. Okay, I'm going to need you to go ahead... you blocking me. Yeah, okay. Go and take their capital out, and then the other war goal is that one. We should be able to beat uh, Ofdol Ludum pretty quickly, and in fact that's going to be one, two more holds. If I take them both, that theoretically would be the third. I mean, more can't hurt. Ultimately, I do want to have all of the holds under our control. At least all the ones in the Serpent Spine. Before people go, you haven't taken the one in the New World yet. I don't even know if there is one in the New World. Harpy Len Dam. Our effort bears fruit. We finished a new stage of the construction of the Harpy Len Dam. Dam first stage done. And we just... Oh, I thought that was a stack wipe. It wasn't. The artillery managed to, uh, to show through there. We've only actually lost 15,000 manpower in this entire war so far. Um, except for the, the men that we need to reinforce. So the Stars Dunder is down to medium already. All your cards on low. I need to piece them out. If I can. I can't because they're incredibly stubborn. Fine.
And yeah, they have come through this, so I don't know why I got exiled there. It's kind of a bit annoying. I don't think I deserve to be. Siege Holyokad's forts. Which ones? I've sieged all of their stuff. It's already gone. They have territory outside of the mountains. Oh, here. Right. I had totally forgotten that this was Holy Yorkard. Yes, okay. Thank you. Stack wipe! An army career! 15 army tradition. I'll take it. So our tradition right now is 99.7. Nice. Now, can I core any of these things that were still outstanding? Just the one. Why can't I call this? Both of the adjacent ones are. You're not building anything. I can afford it. Because I'm at war with Holy Yorkad, maybe? Stack wipe. Chase them down, destroy them. After all Ludum's done, let's go and take that. Seeing as it's the war goal, and I'd quite like to have ticking war score going on. the third player in this. Haraz Oldham. Where is Haraz Oldham? Oh, it's that bit. Okay. Can't take that as well. Um, I feel like her Holder might be allowed to live for a little bit longer. Or I could just not take this. Oh, I was hoping I could demand it, but I can't. Until I've actually taken it, so we'll have to see at that point how much this costs. Blade March has made it all the way over here. Crikey. How are these forts doing? They're still at 71%. Our defensiveness is, quite frankly, just disgusting. Oh. That's a Blade March's army. Correction. That was a Blade March's army. <laughs> oh, dear. was, exactly. No, oh, they're going to siege that down really, really quickly. Uh, hopefully... I really need you to continue working on this stuff. How's Hull Yorkad looking? Are you done? No. Gonna have to wait for this to be sieged before I can go and relieve this one. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Shit. 
Yeah. Pucker. Uh, I could actually repay a loan. Might as well. You know, with all the spoils of war. Ah, sod, and they've attacked me with a hundred thousand. You gonna win this? No, not a chance. Back off. And because they took that, I can't escape. This army just had to be led by me, didn't it? It just had to be led by me. Um, well, you need to come and clear these guys out. Ah, uh, no. You really need to come down here. Okay, let's go and clear you out, because I need to free up these two armies. I did indeed lose. Now, where are we running to, is the question. Yeah, just next door. They've chosen not to follow. That's an interesting decision. Okay, maybe we're not dead. They had an opportunity to take me out and they chose not to do it. Okay. Can't say I agree with your decision there. But I accept it. And go ahead and knock down the walls. Oh, the army was closer than I realised. Never mind. Oh, battle ongoing. Get out of here. All right, so these two armies have done their job. So let's go ahead and send them down to reinforce us on the southern front right now because it seems a lot more leaky than the northern front. Which so far has held completely fine. We got really lucky there that they didn't counterattack us. I don't know why they didn't. They should have. They absolutely should have. New mercenary company available. The Battalion of the Beard. That's a good name. Battalion of the Beard. And what, pray, does the Battalion of the Beard do? Ten more morale and movement speed. Fast moving dwarves. 54,000 infantry. 150,000 manpower. Well, if I need more troops, I know where to get them. Gas explosion. Man, Oftal Kandat's getting absolutely obliterated by this latest dig. It's lost eight development so far. Started out at 110. Holy Ockad is probably ready to peace out. I'm waiting for this to fall so we have 100%. They're starting to retake some of that stuff. That's a bit annoying. 50,000 against 70,000. That is not going to end well for you. I can tell you that right now. As I said, stack wipe! Okay, Hull Yorkad, now that I've got a better peace deal against you, can I, like, take a tiny bit more? No. We're going to need another war against Hull Yorkad, I think. We have the important bit, though. Okay, so. That's even a gold mine? Where is their capital? Down there. And they're allied to Arboran. Who's Arboran? Uh, 
Oh, those guys. I'm sure that's fine. They're at war with a bunch of people already. Um, Brassan, are you ready to peace out yet? No. Alright, well, I'm thinking war against Arboran is in our future. And by future, I mean... now. Finally found that the Dwarf Kingdom was a tiring game. I mean, we're getting very close to being able to do that ourselves. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Park you on top of that, and then we need to also go and start parking ourselves up here. Stack wipe! Because we're not fighting enough people yet. Exactly! See, you understand! So we need to go and clear these guys out. Let's actually go and do that first. Just so I can make sure that I keep all of my stuff over there. And you're trying to attack me from behind. Oh, you sods. <laughs> I can't win over here. And again, they decided not to follow up. Okay. Even with an 80% chance of taking the fort, we didn't take the fort. I, I just want to make that clear. We had an 80% chance. And Mordred just got shot. Great. Uh, Amethyst Dwarf, you are not a Amber Dwarf. Stack wiped. Damn it! That's been a bit of a disaster over on that side. Well, we caught one of their little stacks at least. Now, you have my permission to blow those goddamn walls for a second time. 80% chance we failed. 80%. Twice. Pretty sure that two months rolled by and we failed twice. I should be able to rebuild the army pretty quickly. Oh, now we get it. Tippy freaking call. Fine. Ooh, new ability. I think I would like to have this artillery damage, please. Improved artillery range. Artillery damage from the back row plus 20%. Oh, go on then. If you insist. Which now means that we have got... 60% extra damage from artillery in the back row. This is why I have so many cannons. <laughs> Bamboozle wants me to drink some tea. Well, all right then. Yeah, they're starting to really add some serious manpower to this region. Um, fine. These northern forts are doing their jobs, so that's okay. Siege of the Underpassage, that was you. Your job's there, going good. 
Dwarves going into the forest. This can't possibly go wrong. Thankfully, we do have a pretty mighty fort right there, which is holding them up. We pay a loan? Sure. And can I core any other areas? No. Although they are about to take this province. Let's go and lift that siege first, if we can get there in time. They're going to win that 20. For Pete's sake! I fail two 80s in a row and you get a 28. At least that fort finished. They were there for a long time. I just had other priorities. Unfortunately for them, they then split up. Stack wipe. I'm not even going to bother consolidating stack wipe. Hopefully the whole garrison hasn't returned. No, it hasn't. Do I want to try assaulting this? Short answer is, yep. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill the garrison with my own manpower. And then we're going to back off and try to move in to help out over here. A beautiful cavern! Upon first inspection, the cavern appears to be like any other. A small opening within the mountain, filled to the air rather than the earth. But only upon first inspection, for once you enter the cavern, it is truly wondrous properties become apparent. The walls seem to be entirely encrusted with crystals. When light is shone upon them, they reflect light in such a way as to create a complete tapestry of light, winding, twirling, and shifting as the light sources move. This may be the closest we ever get to true beauty. So, how much do you think those crystals worth, or... Of Dolkanzad for the rest of the game becomes a beautiful underground cave. I open the cavern to all, for a price, of course. After all, that is just good business. Why are 20k just sitting? Because they're uh, rebel hunting. We have a lot of problems with rebels here because our expansion has been so rapid. And I don't have enough generals for all of those armies. Um, right, you have 12,000 men. These guys are more or less backing up. So I think we're going to start moving in. Over here. Here comes the Dwarven Pincer. Can't escape from this. Surprise! Stack wipe. No, not stack wipe. Stack wipe. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, that's that's a lot. Fifty-eight, sixty-one thousand ish. And revenge is ours. <laughs> Alright, these guys are like, we've had enough. You've killed 811,000 of our troops at this point. This might actually make a million soon. In fact, with uh, attrition, it is. On both sides. But the one that I really want to win soon is this one. Oh, Holy York had joined the war again. Ha! <laughs> Apparently they didn't have enough. Well, that's interesting. Because now I might be able to get the rest of the caverns. And they're in a separate war. They're allies, they're not in the coalition. Um, yeah, we, we need to go and deal with that first. 